What's up guys? I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on with the boat. As you can see, it's still sitting up on land. We've had uh, several recovery and salvage companies, crane companies reach out to us regarding what could be done with happy hours. Um, I've got a mixed bag of responses from them. Some of them saying that uh, it's totaled. No way you could get it off of there. You need to drag it in to the water just to get it out. Um, we do have some promising uh, responses from some local um, crane companies that are actually working in the area and getting boats of this size off of land. So we're going to be working on that. We're hoping to uh, save it. It doesn't look to have major damage on uh, the running gear underneath. It does have some uh, superficial gel coat repairs that need to get done, but nothing major. So uh, my main concern is the running gear and uh, making sure uh, that doesn't get any worse than it may be. Um, I'm guessing it might be some bent rudders or props or uh, even shafts, but that could all be repaired. Um, we were able to find the large cushion that was missing up there on the uh, bridge. Over there in the, the back of the bridge, you can't really make it out, but all by the striped cushion, there was a uh, backrest to that cushion. We found it about a block away, two blocks away. Um, pretty much all over the neighborhood, we've been finding pieces of it. I actually just found a piece of the uh, canvas that blew off the back um, in the, my next door neighbor's yard. So this is like two weeks or so later after the storm. So here we are, um, but we are working on restoring our house at the moment. So not a lot of attention being given to the boat. I have made a bunch of phone calls and uh, inquiries on the internet and Facebook as far as crane companies that could handle this recovery. Um, it got a lot of help online. I really appreciate anybody who did reach out and help um, getting the information on different crane companies that uh, could handle something like this. So the company said the plan is to get a barge in the canal. Um, unfortunately, they're saying the barge is 50 feet wide and 120 feet long. And I have a problem with uh, a barge that size making it down this canal. I don't, it's only 80 feet wide and you have a bunch of docks that are uh, jutting out from the shoreline, you know, making the passage in some places less than 50 feet, I believe. So that's going to be checked out and um, they're gonna let me know when they take a uh, smaller boat in here to scope it out first. But I believe they have a 100 ton crane and that's what they're saying they're going to use to attempt to lift up the boat. All right, so one other thing I wanted to share with you guys, uh, my buddy Mike Steen stopped by the house a few days ago and um, we had an interview, we went out to lunch. So you're gonna be seeing a video on that. Uh, coming up on his page shortly. So uh, I appreciated him stopping by. It was nice to finally meet him, meet him in person and uh, get a little support from that side. So uh, keep your eyes out for that video. It should be getting posted soon. Doing some surveys over the dock where Happy Hours was moored up for the storm. You can see these pilings here. I was tied up to at least one, two, three, four, five of these pilings. Um, with various spring lines and also my anchors were out and um, I ripped one completely off The end there yeah, that one broke off and is uh, across the canal With an anchor line uh, Mooring line still tied around it over there on the dock next to the boat and uh, We bounced around to give you an idea how high the water level went these pilings are about four feet high and um, we floated over the piling. We took out the dock wall here. We were bouncing around at this point. You could see the black paint from the bottom of the boat. So that caused some uh, gel coat damage under the boat. Surprisingly little. Um, we took out a fence over there. That black wire fence there. We have some black paint on the bottom, on the side of the boat, on the bottom of the boat. So that needs to get fixed. And we also bounced around over here on this fence. You can see the scratches, and that caused some damage to the boat also. Um, we didn't float further down the canal. It would have been nice if we just ended up in this lot here, 
but because I put the anchors out on the stern and the bow, that kept us from um, moving up and down the canal. Um, but it didn't help with the lateral movement side to side. So as you can see, if we were right here at this dock, the boat is directly across. So I had a bow anchor out this way and a stern anchor out this way. So it kept the boat from moving up and back, up and down on the canal. But, you know, just the length of the line, it just swung it all the way over to the side with the, uh, the heights of the tide here were at least um, six feet tall standing right here. And uh, that's about how high the water was at this dock line. So uh, you can actually still see my anchor. I pulled it up out of the water. It's still sitting there up on the grass. So, um, all right, more to follow. We'll keep you guys updated. And uh, I may be releasing some of our ICW trip videos. I have some of them already to go. Um, it'd be nice to uh, watch some of those and happier times on happy hours. But uh, there will be more to follow. I'm not giving up on this baby yet. So stick around. We'll see you soon.